When I'm Prime Minister, I will keep my promises. Now, another promise, let me try again. to make sure we're recognizing those people who are heroes day in and day out. It is just a little bit awkward. Jagmeet Singh is the leader of the New Democratic Party, known as the NDP in Canada. He is also a member of Parliament for Burnaby South. He is the first Sikh and first visible minority to lead a major federal political party in Canada. He was born in Scarborough, Ontario, and has a law degree from Osgood Hall Law School. He's married, and he has one child. Now, I don't usually talk about politics that much on my channel unless I am just poking fun at all of them, but some Something happened that caught my attention, mainly because it made the word homophobic a trending topic here in Canada. So I would like to take a moment and just talk about what happened, because I like to talk about things that are trending so that I can become a famous YouTuber. So without further ado, I'll roll that intro and we'll get right into this. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> So let's take a minute and go over the article about what happened, watch what happened, and then we'll hit the twatters. He confronts homophobic heckler at event in Newfoundland. This has been all over the CTV news since Tuesday, which is when this happened on August 1st, yesterday. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh was quick to clap back at a drive-by heckler on Tuesday, inviting the man to have a conversation with him instead of shouting expletives out of his car window. He was speaking outside of a Dominion grocery store in St. John's, Newfoundland, about high food prices when a man in a black car pulled up to him in the parking lot shouting an expletive of a sexual nature about saying and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. He responded with, if you're homophobic, you know, keep it to yourself. Your homophobia is very inappropriate. Man yells back, you're a piece of shit. At Singh says, you're driving away. I'm right here. We can have a conversation if you'd like. Which seems like he's like calling him on. It was a little weird. At this point, the heckler pulls away and Singh carries on with his press conference, jumping back into talking about the cost of groceries without skipping a beat. And yes, the cost of groceries and the cost of living is, is ridiculous here right now. As the media availability continued, Singh was asked by a reporter what he made of the exchange and how he deals with situations like this. Singh said he's always open to having conversation with people who have concerns, but someone driving by and yelling something is obviously not interested in having a conversation. No, they're just heckling. I don't say it's real. Prime Minister's the NDP leader said it's possible that the man was dealing with something in his own life that he was expressing in a way that's not really effective or helpful, and said overall the people he's met in Newfoundland and Labrador have been very warm. Ah, uh, the guy's just having problems in his own life. It's nothing personal. He says that a one-off of someone yelling something is not something that's going to disturb him, and then he goes on to say, I'm worried though about the climate where people are not willing to have a conversation, but are so upset that they want to just yell and scream. Where there's legitimate frustration with the cost of living, the cost of rent, the cost of a mortgage. I want to acknowledge that the anger is real and important. Someone driving by and yelling something is a separate matter. Yeah, apparently he's having problems in his own life, right? This interaction is not the first time the NDP leader has confronted people who have interrupted his events or verbally harassed him in public. In 2017, while campaigning for the party's top job in Brampton, Ontario, Singh made headlines for shutting down a visibly angry woman who clapped in his face by responding with love and courage. Give it a round of applause for side diversity. A round of applause for diversity. All right. It's okay. Yeah. It's we know so. <laughs> we can tell by your votes. We all know. <laughs> That's it. It's okay. So. Oh my. What what this is? What this is? We don't want to be intimidated by hate. We don't want hatred to ruin a positive event, right? We don't want hatred to ruin a positive event. I do have to say, like. 
This is not the way to deal with anything. Getting up in someone's face and screaming at them like this is going to get you nowhere, especially at an event. It will just get you booted out. And then you'll just be more mad. So let's show people how we would treat someone with love. We welcome you. Love and we welcome courage. you. Love we and welcome courage. you. We love you. We support you and we love you. We support you, love we love you. Courage. We all love here, everyone in this Yeah, everyone's clapping now when they're saying love and courage, love and courage. Wait, I I'm not really sure what that does, but uh, that it might, might do something. She might get annoyed and leave. Everyone in this room loves you. We all support you. We believe in your rights. We all believe in your rights. This room is a room filled of people that are loving and that will support you, but this isn't the best way to do it. But it's okay, we're gonna talk some more. <laughs> so, so my friends. So she just said he won't return my calls. So she's been like harassing this man for a while. I, I'm sure she's been harassing the whole party for quite a while. My friends, let's just say this is a little bit awkward, but it's okay. We're not into. <laughs> it's just a little bit awkward. Intimidated by hatefulness. We're not intimidated. Well then leave. Honestly, when you're acting this erratic, I don't care what's going on. Someone's gonna come and haul your ass out of there. It's okay. It's okay. We're not worried about this. This is okay. We're not worried about this. It's okay. It's okay. We're not worried. You know what? I think everyone would like to hear what he has to say, lady, but you're up there screaming and yelling and he can't say shit when you're doing that. Forget about this. We're okay. <laughs> Wait. So let her let her just Oh, now she's all about personal space after she just went up there and got in everyone else's spaces. She didn't respect his personal space at all, but we all got to respect hers. Speak as much as she wants. It's okay. We have no problem with it. My friends, we'll just sort this situation out. We'll be right back. I love you all. So if you can't hear it, the issue is that this woman has decided that since he is a Sikh, he believes in Sharia law and that he wants to bring Sharia law here. There has been, of course, a lot of, of, of weirdness surrounding that. I think that it's it's a little bit racist. It's a little bit culturalist or whatever you want to call it. I'm not a virtue signaler. I have no clue about these things. I don't advocate. I stay out of this shit. But there has not been proof at all that this guy wants to bring Sharia law to Canada. And this lady is, is going insane. She's nuts. Up. These are things that happen. It's okay. It's no big deal. We're not going to be intimidated. It's all good. <laughs> so now they're cheering because she got taken out of the event. Okay, maybe it is, it is solved already. All right. So listen, this is so incredible. This incredible amount of love. This okay, we're good. It's okay. Listen. I do gotta give it to him. He doesn't know how to get right back to it without skipping a beat. You know, growing up as a brown-skinned, turban-bearded man, that I faced things like this before. It's not. A, it's not a problem. We can deal with it. There's going to be other obstacles we're going to face, and we're going to face them with what? With love and courage. We can overcome love anything. We're not worried about this. Yeah, love and courage. Uh, that, that, that's what happened with that. In an event in Peterborough, Ontario, which is not far away from me, in 2022, put a renewed spotlight on politician security after Singh received a barrage of insults and expletives from several protesters who accused him of being a quote-unquote traitor. At the time, Singh remarked that he was witnessing a level of anger he hasn't seen before. So once again, this like isn't something that is new to him. What I'm noticing is true that there is more of a polarization 
and an aggression and an anger that I haven't seen before. He said while visiting a pro-choice counter-protest to the March for Life demonstrations on Parliament Hill on Thursday. For those that don't know, Parliament Hill is here in Ottawa. He received a barrage of insults earlier in the week as he exited a rally for Ontario NDP candidate Jen Deck, who's running in the Peterborough Kawartha riding. So it was a bunch of protesters that were yelling at him, and the Peterborough police went and investigated the event. They asked whether additional security has been assigned to accompany him, and he says that it's not something they can discuss publicly, but I'm thinking it might be a good idea. So what exactly happened on Tuesday? Well, let's all watch it together. I don't say it's true. Uh, and listen, if you're uh, if you're homophobic, you know, keep it to yourself. Let's just play that one more time. I am trying to make out what is being said here, but it's hard because it's bleeped out. Hey, listen, if you're uh, if you're homophobic, you know, keep you're it to yourself. You know, your homophobia you're is very inter it's very inappropriate. You're, you're driving you're away. Horrible. You're driving away and causing an accident. I hope he didn't cause an accident. I'm right here. You can have a conversation if you like. Yeah, you can sorry about sure. that. So that's what happened. Let's just try to hear what he says one more time. Not I'll say it's real. Prime Minister's I think he says salam on the Prime Minister's cock, but I'm not really sure. So let me know down below what you think was said. It's hard to hear because he's yelling it out of the car and then they've also beeped it. But I want to know what you think was said there, down below. Not I'll say it's real. Prime Minister's on Twitter, Rowan the Stallion commented, Watch, Dagmeet Singh redefines homophobia. Driver, call out the Prime Minister in audible. Singh, you're homophobic. Driver, you're a piece of shit. Maybe we can hear it more here. What do you guys think? You think we can hear it more here? Should I be sitting here trying to hear a slur? I feel like there's something wrong with me. But I want to hear what was actually said. I think it's important to be transparent. And a lot of people are bleeping it out. So I hope these guys don't. So call um, something about a cock? What? Salam, uh, something about cock. It's so hard to hear. So call him on the Prime Minister's cock or something. I, I, I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comments below what you think was said. But it sounds something like that. So most people are kind of like, I don't get it. Makes two of us. Imagine this plot. Trudeau and Singh are in a relationship. So Singh considers any attack on Trudeau as homophobia. Not really sure if that's happening, but okay. Redefines homophobia. Creative captions, bruh. So is Jamie saying he's gay or is he saying Justin is? I don't understand. And this this is kind of the joke that everyone's making about it now, right? Rowan says that makes two of us. What a bloody fool. He invented death threat allegations in Peterborough, even though we could all see the footage and never happened. It sounds like the driver is saying something about Singh's and Trudeau's relationship. If Jagmeet Singh wasn't undeservedly wealthy and milking taxpayers for a lifetime pension for being a do-nothing seller, I'd probably feel bad for him. Like, he can't even reasonably deal with a drive-by heckler. Do needs to prescript everything. Wow. And that's the other thing people are saying, that he should have just ignored this person no matter what they were saying. A lot of people are calling him out right now for responding to this kind of behavior giving it attention saying that they don't want that they want someone in office that can completely ignore that kind of thing not give it any kind of attention you know but an embarrassing exchange this kind of thing is a layup for any politician you just let the person yell at you and then talk about how you understand why canadians are angry jagmeet is such a weak leader clearly lashing back not willing to call out prime minister really trying to disagree with someone but the guy in the car has zero class not cool and i'm agreeing with that i mean there that's never a way to drive by and just scream especially if you're screaming out slurs or gross things out of your car at someone that's not going to fucking solve anything and it is zero class ndp leader emerges from closet sounds like the driver nailed it the new standard of put down in 2023 oh yeah well your dad buys bud light at target i have target here in canada so 
That can't even happen here. We got the memes going. This is kind of funny. I was actually surprised at Jay Meat. It's their go-to hate propaganda. This is so good. It was being called, and Jay Meat saying instantly calls him a slur back. This is not appropriate for name calling, even if one side does so. Poorly done. I didn't hear him use a slur, but I didn't know Singh was gay. That's a big joke on the internet right now. Nah, he's on to something. What accident was caused? The kind caused by driving away after being correct. Not acceptable to call anyone this. Homophobic? Interesting. I like where this is going. Tell me more. He shit does come pre banned Is he gay? I think Jay Meat just outed himself. He literally just spit the words out despite there being no homophobia whatsoever. So a lot of people are arguing whether or not it is homophobia. And that's why I wanted to kind of like try to hear what was actually being said. Robert Valpy says, how did no one hear what the guy said? He clearly said, suck all over the prime minister's clock or something close. Well, I, I didn't hear it. Okay, I'm sorry. I did not hear it. And apparently you did not hear it fully because you say, or or something close, so don't be calling us out there, Robert. That's why Singh says that in response, he is saying the insult he used was homophobic or something. Ro Robert doesn't know what's going on. He he's just here to leave comments to make himself seem superior. Welcome to Trudeau's Club. Hmm, telling us something about himself or JT? Now, if you go and look, it's a lot of people speaking out about this. Michelle here says, anyone who continues to vote Republican is saying loudly and clearly that they are racist, misogynistic, homophobic, bigoted, and cruel, that they don't care if our government is a crime syndicate. Anyone who doesn't vote is complicit. Don't make excuses for these people. And this is kind of the, the the thing that bothers me about this is I don't know if we can just put a blanket and say that this was all Republicans. All Republicans were the guy in the car. You know, like, I, I don't like politics because it does that kind of thing a lot. I have a problem with it. And we have Bradshaw that says, Singh is just being a good little boy, taking the heat off Trudeau by calling someone homophobic. Newfoundland, Canadians are fed up with Singh and Trudeau and the destruction of our country. Singh just showed his true color to every single voter. These politicians have the most hateful vocabulary to call Canadians. Sting and Trudeau together have made Canada so unaffordable, but yet we can't be angry. We're supposed to take it and the insult. Sting cross the line and any hopes for seats in the East are done. A lot of people are very, very uh, angry at Trudeau as well because, you know, the, the cost of living has gone up so much and a lot of people are saying that since Trudeau's been in office, Canada has become completely unaffordable and it does seem like Jagmeet Singh is, you know, following Justin Trudeau's footsteps. So people are a little bit upsetty spaghetti about that today. I wanted to check it out. So we just did. So the two major questions at hand here are, number one, was this homophobic, what happened here, this awful thing that was said? And number two, did it get handled properly and like we would want a leader in parliament to handle this situation? And in order to talk about this, I think it's important that we first define homophobic. It's an adjective that means having or showing a dislike of or prejudice against gay people, bisexuals, lesbians, etc. And so here's the thing. When you are using something like a, 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 a gay sexual act as an insult, a lot of people can take it immediately as homophobic. And I think that's what kind of happened here. However, when you sit down for a minute and when you really think about what this man was actually saying, I'm unsure if he meant to be homophobic. I think he was trying to say that Mr. Mr. Singh here is somebody that is known to sort of like follow everything that Justin Trudeau is doing and suck up to him, if you will. And so I think it was more him insulting that than it was him trying to call either he or, or Justin Trudeau gay or be homophobic. So I do ask that people don't like jump right into, oh my God, people are so homophobic in Newfoundland because that's not a thing and I just don't want that to happen. The second thing at hand, like I said, is was this handled correctly? 
There were a lot of people commenting on Twitter that they felt as if he should have ignored the comment, especially since it was like in passing. Someone did it while driving like a by and away from him. So it would have been easy for him to sort of pretend like he didn't hear it and then to continue on in his speech. And I would have to agree with that. Uh, we don't want someone that's going to be jumping to uh, being emotional like that. And so we would want someone who can handle this situation in a mature manner and a lot of people don't think that this was handled properly. Now I'm going to ask all of you to please let me know down below what you think about this. Do you think that it was homophobic? Why or why not? And do you think that Mr. Singh here handled this situation properly? And more importantly, like someone who you would want to see as Prime Minister of Canada, right? Because he's, he's in the running. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a like. Think about joining our fabulous, amazing members. All of the beautiful people do. And no matter where you are or what you're doing, I hope that you have a fabulous, fabulous rest of your day. Take care, and I'll see you all very, very soon with another one. Mwah. Bye! But all in all, I do believe, like, fuck politics. Oh, see, it's real. Prime Minister when I'm Prime Minister, I will keep my promises. <laughs> Who wigs and bolts? <laughs>